Hello everyone, welcome to study era. Today we are going to discuss the building stones and their properties. Different kind of building stone and uh, from where they are obtained like are they igneous rocks, they are sedimentary rocks or metamorphic rocks. So let's go. First one is granite. Uh, granite is a kind of igneous rocks. It is found inside the core of earth that's why it's, it's known as intrusive igneous rock. Uh, it's a specific gravity is 2.64. It is basically unstratified that is it is not found in layers. It have a uniform composition. It is a type of siliceous rock that is presence of silica is more in this kind of rocks. The porosity of granite is very less. It's about 1%. It's less than 1%. The crushing strength is very high. That is 700 to 1300 kilogram per centimeter square. You need to remember the unit. It's kilogram per centimeter square. They may ask it in kilonewton per meter cube. So the advantage of granite, we all know advantage of granite, it is quite strong, durable, resistive to weathering and all. Uh, we basically use granite in our kitchens, in our uh, front appearance of house, doors and all. Uh, and uh, the disadvantage of granite is very less, but uh, it's mainly that uh, it is less fire resistive. It's not resistive to fire. The unit weight is, as we know, the specific gravity is 2.64 and uh, the gravity, the unit weight of water is 1000. So we multiply 2.64 by 1000, it gives us 2640 kilogram per, per meter cube. Uh, it's found in black, brown, gray, green, pink, etc. Kind, etc. kind of colors. Uh, the color is basically, uh, the color basically depends upon the concentration of fels, felspar. Uh, what's feldspar? Feldspar is a kind of uh, material which is found in these igneous rocks. Quartz, feldspar, mica is found in granite. The second kind of rock is basalt. Basalt is uh, basically also an igneous, igneous rock, but it is formed when the lava comes out of the volcano. That is, it is an extrusive rock. It is formed on the surface of the earth. Its specific gravity is quite high, it's 2.9, so hence its unit weight is also 2900 kilogram per meter cube. Uh, it is an unstratified rock having a uniform mixture and is a siliceous rock having concentration of, having greater concentration of silica. Uh, its porosity is very less, it's even less than granite. Granite's por porosity was 1%. Its porosity is less than even 0.5%. Its crushing strength is 750 to 800, which is quite high. Its advantages are, it is resistant to water acids and high melting temperature. The melting temperature of basalt is quite high. The disadvantages of basalt are low, it's low in withstanding bending force. Uh, we have read the unit weight. The color in which basalt is found is basically black, blackish gray. It's blackish gray. The next one is sandstone. Sandstone is uh, a sedimentary rock. We all know what sedimentary rock is. Sedimentary rocks are formed by the abrasion, basically abrasion. Uh, and other uh, weathering uh, materials. So, like specific gravity of sandstone is 2.65 to 2.95. Uh, it's a sedimentary rock, as I said, and mechanically formed. It is formed mechanically, that is by abrasion. And it is stratified. Stratified is it consists of layers, different layers. Uh, it is of sil it is a siliceous rock. This means silica is more in this rock. Uh, now, porosity is higher. It is of 5 to 6 percent. The porosity of sandstone is very high. The crushing strength, hence the porosity high is the crushing, the crushing strength somehow reduces. It's about 350 to 400 kilogram per centimeter square. Its advantages are it's workable. It is fire resistive. The most important thing, granite isn't fire resistive. It is fire resistive. Its disadvantages are if water is present in high concentration, then uh, there will be high water absorption, which may lead to softening of the stone. The unit weight is simple as 2700 kilogram per meter cube and the color in which sandstone is present is white, grey, brown and pink. Now the next stone is marble. Marble is a metamorphic rock. Marble, we all have seen marbles uh, somewhere like uh, in the floors, uh, in decorative purposes and all. Specific gravity of marble is 2.7. It's a metamorphic rock which is stratified. It is basically obtained from limestone. Limestone is a sedimentary rock. Metamorphic rocks are those which are formed under higher pressure, under higher pressure of pre-existing rocks. Marble is stratified and calcareous. Calcareous are those rocks in which presence of calcium is more. Calcium carbonate is higher in content. Hence, marble is a calcareous rock. 
Its water absorption is less. It's about 1 to 3 percent. The crushing strength of marble is 500 to 600. That's quite high. Advantage of marble are marble is hard and mostly used in decorative purpose. We use it in flooring also. Uh, the color if marble is available in many colors. There is nothing like uh, uh, color specification of marble. It is available in many colors and it is obtained from limestone as I said earlier. Limestone. Now, if marble is obtained from limestone, what is basically limestone? Let's study about mar uh, limestone. The specific gravity of limestone is 2.6 and the, it's a sedimentary rock which is formed chemically as as the name suggests lime, limestone. So there is presence of chemical hence it is formed chemically. It is calcareous. Lime is basically CaO and calcareous rocks are obviously formed by the presence of calcium. Water absorption. Water absorption is, of limestone is high. It's about 4%. Uh, crushing strength is about 550 kilogram per centimeter square. And the advantages of limestone are it is fire resistive. Limestone is very good in fire resistance. It is used in blast furnace. Uh, limestone is uh, found in brown, yellow and dark grey colors. Now, the next stone is slate. This is quite important as uh, questions are asked from this uh, point, slate. The specific gravity of slate is 2.8. It's high. Type of rock, it's a metamorphic rock. It is a metamorphic rock obtained from it is obtained from shale. Shale is prepared organic organically. It is a sedimentary rock. Shale is a sedimentary rock and slate is a metamorphic rock obtained from shale. It is stratified and argillaceous. It is the first example of argillaceous, uh, argillaceous rock. It's an argillaceous rock. Water absorption. Water absorption is very less. It is 1% only. The crushing strength is 600 to 700. Hence the water absorption is less. So we can utilize it in like uh, roof covering and all. So let's see. Advantage of slate is it is heat and electric insulator. Okay. It is fine grained. So it will not allow water to pass easily. Its application is roof covering as I said and cisterns. It is a, uh, available in green and dark blue color obtained from shale and unit weight is 2850 kilogram per meter cube. The next stone is quartzite. Quartzite is also a metamorphic rock. It is obtained from sandstone. Quartzite is obtained from sandstone and sandstone is a sedimentary rock. Now specific gravity of quartzite is 2.65. It is obtained from sandstone and crushing strength is 750 kilogram per centimeter square with water absorption of 4% and its application is basically the stone used in railway ballast is quartzite. It is high weather resistive. The next one is genus. Genes is a type of rock. It is a, a metamorphic rock. It is siliceous in nature and obtained from granite. Hence all metamorphic are, uh, rocks are obtained from their parent rocks. So its parent rock is granite. Then the next is conquer. The composition of conquer is 30% alumina and silica plus 70% of CaCO3. So it is a type of limestone basically and hence the type of rock it's a impure limestone. Next one is laterite. Laterite the specific gravity of laterite is 2.222. Its composition is it is sandy clay stone plus high percentage of iron oxide and it is a type of argillaceous rock. So thank you so much for watching guys. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Uh, it is quite useful in different quantity. Uh, uh, it is quite useful in different competitive exams as well as your semester exams. Thank you so much.